Okay, Hunter. I'm Abe, and I got volunteered to show you the ropes. We're stuck in this metal box for about 30 seconds while the monster gets a head start. So, let's talk about monster hunting. The thing you gotta keep in mind is this ain't about just running around and shooting bad guys like you're some kind of goddamn Navy SEAL or whatever. You were hunting a monster on an alien planet. And that ain't like anything else. You already know how to use a gun and run around and how to face which direction and all that bullshit. You're not an idiot. We're gonna teach you monster hunting. It may seem... I mean, it's a lot to deal with, but after only like three or five matches, you'll get it. You see those glowing blue tracks in front of you? That means that asshole was just here. Keep on his trail, and hope he doesn't grow too much by the time we find him. All right, now just stick to those tracks. The other half of the team will catch the monster if it starts veering off in some crazy direction. If both halves work together, you'll corner the monster and one of you can land a dome. Getting close. When you find him, though, he's gonna bolt. That's what the mobile arena's for. It traps a monster, forces a fight. It'll let you know when you're in range. Then, you just hold the button down and the monster is trapped in a giant dome with you and your... Okay, here we go. You're right on top of him, but he's gonna try to bolt. When you see the prompt to throw the dome, let her rip. Now, throw the dome! I knew you could do it. Don't worry about reloading. There's no ammo to pick up or anything like that. It's the future. You don't need that shit. If you got some gear that takes a long time to reload or recharge or whatever, go ahead and stow it. It'll recharge in the background. Just watch your HUD so you can see when it's ready. The good news is you folks did a shitload of damage to the monster. Bad news is, the dome is down and it can run away. Limbs and brakes. Okay, the dome is down, so the monster's gonna run, and there ain't a damn thing you can do about it. I know, you're thinking, dome it again. Well, you can't. We got all kinds of science fiction shit, but it all runs on batteries, and batteries gotta recharge. Ain't no such thing as a free lunch. All we can do now is keep tabs on the monster till it's had a chance to charge back up again. Good thing is, it gives us time to hone those tracking skills and maybe learn something new. You can follow his tracks while the other half of your crew goes to cut him off. Or you can let your buddies follow the tracks and you can try to cut the monster off. Well, I teach you the advanced shit. Hear that? That's the monster letting us know he's stage two. It means he's bigger and stronger. He likes roaring about it, makes him feel threatening, trying to scare us. Let's find him before he hits stage three, because that is bad news. You're gonna hear your teammates say, he's headed west. And you're like, what the fuck, which way is west? Well, you got a compass down there. Anytime you need to tell someone which way to go. Here's your chance to shine. Dome that fucker. The dome only lasts until you guys or the monster take enough of a beating. Apparently, the damn thing doesn't know the difference between good guys and bad guys. You get close to the monster, you throw that thing out there, and it traps the monster in with you. Dome stays up until either the monster downs a hunter. Stand down! You got a teammate on their ass and bleeding out. Get over there and pick him up fast, or the whole team's screwed. Here come the reinforcements. This first time, the ship comes back pretty fast. Next time, it'll take longer. This is what I was talking about earlier. Teammates start to go down, next thing you know, the dome drops too. On the upside, the monster usually hightails it out of there when that happens. Gives you a chance to pick up casualties and regroup. 
Now just stick to those tracks. Whoa, okay. Look, look, look. That is not a rock. That is a Mega Mouth. Looks like a rock. It is not. If you get close to that thing, it will straight up eat you, and there is nothing you can do about it. It'll just sit there until it swallows you. Best you can do is cry like a baby and hope a teammate comes and shoots the fucking thing. Which they will probably do. Unless they're laughing too hard. Okay, so you can't find the monster. Don't freak out. Get on the horn and tell your trapper to scan the area. That's something only trappers can do. Save you a bunch of time. Looks like the batteries in the dome have recharged. Let's lock them down and dish out some punishment. Okay, so the good news is this is as strong as the monster gets. On the other hand, your bone. Because a stage 3 monster is no joke. You gotta bust your ass to take one down. But it also means the monster don't need to eat no more. It's coming for you. So stick together and be ready. The monster stage 3, and that means he can ignore you and go for the Patterson relay. Every map has one, and if it shorts out, the whole place blows up. Check your HUD. You can see the relay. If you wanna head over there, wait for the monster, you can. Okay, you're on the cutoff crew. Keep within shouting distance of your partner. On your own, you can step in a plan or some shit, and that's a nasty way to go. You should have a rough idea of where the monster was headed after that fight. Bring up your map to get the lay of the land, and head toward where you think he'll be. And don't take too long. That thing is about to evolve. I can feel it. Go him now! You see that look in his eyes? If you let him go, he's definitely gonna go off and defile something. Yeah, you probably recognize that guy. That's Griffin Halsey, famous monster hunter. You gotta watch for when he fires his harpoon gun. Because it's after two things happen. One, the monster is stuck. Can't run away. And he's probably gonna go straight for Griffin. So you gotta help him out. Like by killing the monster, preferably, but you do you. Whatever you got. Okay, so you need to keep your teammates in line of sight so they can heal you and shit. If you stand too close to him, the monster will breathe fire on all of you or lightning strike the hell out of you. So, you know, stay close, but not too close. You get the hang of it. Teammate on their ass and bleeding out. Get over there and pick them up fast. The whole team's screwed. Reinforcements inbound. It takes a little longer each time, but eventually it'll cap out. <laughs> Damn! Look at you, stone cold monster slaying machine. Now you may be new at this, but I think it goes without saying that if you manage to take down a stage three Goliath, you've got a solid handle on things. 